outside today on Shaw TV. We're in the middle of summer now. It's sort of like if you blink, you'll miss it. It's, <laughs> we're here with Cindy Simino. We're talking about the, the playground program with the Parks and Rec Department, City of Moose Jaw. You, you're saying you've already, it, your the program's already doing better this year than it was last year. Yeah, the, so far this year it's already up 250 kids. We added a new park this year, the 1996 Summer Games Spray Park, so that's nice for the extra kids on South Hill to come out and cool off in the water. Yeah. And we still have, so we have 10 parks all together as well. And yeah. how are things going this year? It's oh great, well with the hot weather though, the only thing is they get a little bit hot, so yeah. they've been in the pool a little extra, but we don't mind. We need yeah. to keep them cool. We just stress, make sure they always bring cold water, lots of water to bring, drink and stuff, because we don't want anybody fainting. Haven't had any problems yet, so, so far so good. Uh, and recently we've had a bit of rain too, what do you guys do if there's rain? Uh, we've been lucky so far. Uh, the rain hasn't affected. We started um, on July 9th, yeah. and the rain hasn't really affected us. But if it does rain, um, they just hang out in their shack, do crafts, play games. The numbers are a little bit lower when it rains, but they still come, rain or shine. Yep. Um, we're down here at the 1996 Summer Games Park. What are some of the other parks that kids can go to if they, they want to get involved and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. The, well, we have nine other parks. There's Eldon Park on 9th Avenue. That one's huge. It's got their little paddling pool. Uh, we have Optimus Park. It has a paddling pool. It's also on South Hill. We have Park Hill. It has a paddling pool as well. Um, there's way down on 13th, there's Regal, Regal Heights. It has a little shack. They have their own blow-up pool and they have fun games. Yesterday, actually, they had a bake sale and they raised over $100, so I thought that was awesome. There is Hillcrest, is way up by the old Roth School, and the numbers there actually have even gone up, so I was really impressed. There is, uh, da, 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 where else? Oh, West End, it's kind of hidden in behind 9th Avenue, and that's a nice little park. And everywhere, yeah, there's kids everywhere. If you look at all the parks, there's yeah. kids playing at all the parks. Just as soon as we started this interview, it seems like the kids kind of exploded into a game. Is that what we're gonna see at every different park? Uh, kids playing games? Oh yeah, there's a lots of games. There's always high energy games, low energy games, crafts. There's a little bit of free time, not much though. Uh, they all have to fundraise money for each park because this is a, it's a non-funded organization. So they f right. fundraise money for their year-end parties, pizza parties, ice cream parties. Um, another added bonus that we have this summer as well is we have the snack and time truck going around every Friday. Okay. And there's, instead of them going to Dairy Queen, it's coming to them basically. <laughs> so, and it's on the cheapest items, $1.50. So it's not that bad. Right. So if they do a little bit of fundraising, they're allowed to get a free treat or whatever as well. So if uh, kids want more information or parents want more information, how can they go about doing that? Well, there's Parks and Rec uh, playground posters all over town, but if they want to call me at 694-4539, my name is Cindy, they can talk to me, they can call the city of Moose Jaw, the Parks and Rec Department, or they, you know what, they could probably ask one of their neighborhood kids or just stop by if they see a bunch of kids at the park. And it's a free it's free program, it's drop-in, You don't. it's 10 to 4, Monday to Friday, but you don't have to be there 10 to 4. You can come whenever you want. You got a cousin in town for the day, that cousin can come in for the day. Cindy, I sort of led into it with the, the question, you sort of, you blink and you miss summers, but uh, you started on July 9th. When do you go till? We go until August 16th, which is our grand finale day. It's a Thursday and it'll be at Crescent Park and there'll be like fun things to do. Uh, last year we had a dunk tank, we had the police there, the fire. I think we had Gainer the Gopher there as well yeah, last yeah. year. And it's lots of fun. Um, next week, all the parks are coming here. So it should be a big event here next week and it's for um, Animal Jungle Week theme. Yeah. And then on on August 9th, I think all the parks are going to go actually to Crescent Park and do some fun stuff there as well. And one other week they're going to go to Elgin and all the parks will go to Elgin. So we take turns going to different parks. We don't like really like Elgin going anywhere because there's sometimes up to 100 kids there. It's hard to transport 100 kids. So unfortunately they have to stay at the park, but they have a beautiful park. So It's something hard to imagine 100 kids. Eh? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's lots of fun. As you can see this little guy here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and every day we have new kids, we have different kids. And like I said, if your cousin's in town for a day, bring him down, bring her down. Doesn't matter if it's a day or the whole six week program, you can come as much as you want. Well, thanks very much, Cindy, for giving us an insight as to what this program is all about. You're welcome. I hope to see lots of kids out. Right on. So that's happening all summer long, every day until August 16th, you that's said? Right. Uh, until August 16th. For Shaw TV, I'm Brett Hopper.